Hi guys, welcome to another episode of the Avocado Insider series. It's your host Harshit Gotha. In this episode, we continue our discussion with Dr. Robert Nathan. He's a world-renowned expert in avocado. Uh, he was the former extension officer at the Extension Service of uh, Agriculture Ministry of Israel, and he has worked together with Dr. Ben Yakov, the father of the Israeli avocado industry. Currently, he's consulting large avocado orchards in Israel and Latin America. In this episode, we talk about the avocado varieties that are the most suitable for hot climatic conditions. And uh, we talk about both rootstocks as well as the science on top, the commercial variety on top. Stay tuned for this episode because we talk about Jam, Maluma and Lavi. These are harsh like varieties but uh, their uh, patent owners say that these can be grown in hot climatic conditions. I have a special request uh, to you guys. If you have any questions about our commercial avocado farming, post it in the comment section down below and I'll ask Dr. Robert to Nathan those questions and post a separate video about it. So that will clarify your doubts and benefit the community as a well. whole. So I have touched upon this point before regarding heat, but what avocado variety is the most suitable for hot climatic conditions? You're talking about the rootstock varieties no uh, or varieties well both both rootstock and uh, commercial varieties on top the science depends on what you call uh, ar- you, you're talking about arid conditions yes well arid conditions as long as the climate meets avocado requirements if you want to call it there's not a problem if you have water, yeah. you can supply with everything. Even I would consider it an advantage because too much rainfall, yeah. if the soil is not very, it's not well drained, it could become a problem. Yeah. In arid soils, mostly the problems are lime, high pH, alkaline soils, yeah and salinity so it will depend on the water source if you have a good water source good water quality source you can irrigate with the drip irrigation or micro sprinkler or whatever and the the orchard will perform perfectly so the limitation is if you the water if you have water available and good quality relatively good quality you can adjust the rootstock to the water quality and uh, in terms of that talking about that of course if you have a problem with water quality would be better to use uh, the west indian uh, race which is more uh, tolerant to water quality and to line condition and salinity etc and what with regards to varieties, yeah. that depends on the climate. Mm-hmm. Uh, even when you talk about Hass today, we have a different Hass clones. Yes. And we have some of them, uh, I'm not talking about the original Hass yeah, yeah. that comes from California. I'm talking about variations that we developed here in Israel in the Vulcani Research Station yeah. that are more tolerant to those conditions and you can market fruit and commercially it's not yeah. has it yeah. has a different name yeah. but today they call it has yeah. although the people that develop the variety these varieties yeah. uh, they say but this is not has yeah. but it becomes dark like has yeah. so I've, people call it has it's i've not read has. about i've read about two uh, from israel the, one of them is irit and another one is has lavi lavi yeah. The Lavi is uh, one of the most popular. Okay. It's a uh, has like. Yeah. It's not really has. Mm. There are s- some new developments that are different okay. lines that are we're testing to mm. these days. Mm. Lavi became very popular, and now we are uh, selling them in, the, in Latin America. Lavi. Okay. Yeah. They sell it there, but in the market, they are sell sold like has. Mm-hmm. But Lavi is not has. Yeah. Your truck. It's Lavi. <laughs> and have you experimented with uh, the other varieties from South Africa and uh, USA, like Jam and Maluma? 
Jem and Maluma are also in Israel. Yeah. Uh, they are sort of has. Maluma has completely failed here okay. and also in Latin America. In my visits, I've seen in these farms that I mentioned earlier yeah. that uh, it's not doing well. Okay. And they going back to Haas. With regards to Jem, well, still not much work with. We need more work. We okay. don't know exactly how, because as everything with, with fruit trees, it takes a lot of time to decide whether a variety, a new variety coming in, it's good enough. You have to yeah. test it for years. It's a couple of years and it's not enough. You need adult orchards and many productions to assess a new variety and decide whether it can become commercial and compete with the old ones, Haas, Ettinger, Pinkerton, and all the others. I hope you found our discussion useful. If you did, please press the notification icon and subscribe to my channel. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching.